I now give the floor for advocates for human rights. Madam President, the Advocates for Human Rights welcomes the High Commissioner's oral update on systemic racism. George Floyd's murder by police officers in Minneapolis, where the Advocates is headquartered, starkly illustrates systemic racism in the U.S. Racially discriminatory police violence and criminalization mean black people are three times more likely than white people to be killed by police. And since 2013, 99% of such killings have not resulted in officers being charged with a crime. Racial disparities in the criminal justice system far extend beyond encounters with police. A black man in the U.S. faces a one in four chance of going to prison. Black men make up 34% of the prison population and 41% of those on death row. Systemic racism results in the de deliberate suppression of the right to vote. State laws disenfranchise 5.17 million people with felony convictions, disproportionately black and brown Americans. And while George Floyd's murder has sparked examinations of police accountability and modest institutional reform, change has been limited. The Advocates for Human Rights encourages member states, including the U.S., to take concrete action to dismantle and redesign existing police systems to ensure respect for human rights, including training and resources to comply with international standards, prohibit racial profiling, establish independent police oversight bodies with real authority to conduct impartial investigations, and a national commission to examine police tactics, assess the racially and ethnically disproportionate impact of mandatory minimum sentences, prioritize protection of voting rights. Thank you. Thank you. I now give the floor to International Association.